Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mirror Neuron which means watch and learn and today we are starting our third project in Python for Machine Learning. So first two projects were on housing price prediction which was a regression problem and the second project was on customer churn analysis uh, which was a classification type problem. Now if you want to know more about these two projects please browse to the playlists uh, in our YouTube channel and you'll get the explanation of all the codes and the theory behind in solving those two projects. The third project which is our project today which is on market basket analysis and this is more like a recommender system project and slightly different from what we did cover in project 1 and project 2. Also in this project we'll be doing something different and it is called as association mining using the a priori algorithm and we will build the entire logic from scratch because we don't have any direct solution in python also while handling this project we'll be dealing with a large data set which is about 1 gb plus and we'll see how can we solve a large data set problem by you know changing few concepts here and there and make it possible to run it in our uh, laptop which probably is just about 8 GB of RAM. Alright, so now that we have the context in place, uh, let's discuss more about what the problem statement is and how we can solve it. So let's jump onto our Jupyter Notebook. Okay, so imagine that you are trying to order some grocery. Uh, nowadays we have apps in most cases. So we are trying to order some items online. Uh, for, for grocery and the company who provides this service wants to predict which previously purchased products will be in the user's next order. Now it can solve many problems so it can help the e-commerce company to make sure that the inventory is always uh, up to date right and it will also tell them you know if a particular person is purchasing one item it will also help them cross sell and upsell other product item now in order to solve this problem we are going to use as i mentioned earlier is the a priori algorithm and the technique that we are going to use uh, will be used for association rules mining so in order to explain that for example say you have ordered an item like apple and you've ordered an item milk and you've ordered an item egg right so these are three different items that are there in your order and next time say you are ordering milk then my e-commerce company should know that what are the other items you bought previously and what are the chances that you might be ordering those items this time as well right now first i will explain you how this would look contextually and how to build such setup in python we'll just take a very simple example and we'll showcase that how this data is prepared and once we know how the data is prepared then we'll go ahead and use the kegel data set and prepare it and massage it accordingly but before that we need to understand how this uh, technique is used now imagine this say we have two order from a customer and they look like order one has apple milk and egg and order two has milk and egg so the first task that we need to find is the number of times you know each of this item pair appears and how it should look like so for example in my first order the pairs or the item pairs would look like for example apple and milk apple and egg and milk and egg right so basically these are the three combinations uh, you know from the first three items that i have ordered and for the second one it's milk and egg because i've ordered only two items so basically, as a customer, if I made two orders, then my total combinations are four now, which is apple milk, milk egg, apple and egg, and on the second order, it's milk and egg, right? Now my next point of interest is, is there a way I can count these pairs? So if I see milk and egg has appeared in both my orders, right? So there is a chance that you know if I make third order milk and egg probably this combination will be again there. So that is what my main intention and you know the study of this uh, data set will be all about. So my final output I would like to see something like count of this pair apple and milk which is one. Count of milk and egg is about two because I ordered them twice in both my order and count of apple and egg is one again. So totally four pairs of items I had and I can count them but how do I do this if I have a large data set 
right and first of all we need to also make some analysis that how my data set data set should be so that i can do this kind of analysis okay also just to give a heads up in our data set we have about 32 million records about 3.2 million unique orders and about 500 oh sorry 50000 products that we are going to deal with and we are going to use some basic building blocks in python to help such huge data set analyze some you know this data set okay now that we know the problem statement so for example say i have a order a basically a numpy array this is just handmade some data so you can see the same data set that which i have just now shown i can represent that um, in a d type of object using my numpy array okay so the first value is the order id and the second is the item so in my first order i have ordered three items apple egg and milk and in the second order i have ordered egg and milk okay so if i see so it basically is a five by two matrix uh, you can say uh, shape of that numpy array all right now what do we do is first of all we need to find the group of item pairs okay so for that we need to find all the order numbers and then for each order number we need to find all the items associated to it and once we have all the items associated to it we can find their item pairs now this has to be broken down in, into individual steps because we don't have a function which does that directly for us and also keep this in mind if you look at the data set there will be individual record for each item or each order so that is why we have to you know go back and do this data preparation ahead of time that is the first challenge in our problem okay so in practice we ask ourselves you know is there any available method in python which can help us do this kind of counting and it seems by using three functions available in python basic building block which is combination group by and the counter method we can use them to give us this count so let's see so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to group by the orders that i have okay and for each of those orders i want to combine all the items into one list okay so I'm i have broken down this entire code in a step by step method so in this case you can see i have two orders remember and i'm doing a for loop and i'm doing a group by okay so basically i will be getting two orders order one and order two as i have seen uh, i have printed them down as well so using the group by method i am not only grouping the orders i am also within the same group i am running an iteration to find how many items are there so if you see here if i break it down into two steps the first step is to identify the order id which is one and the list of item in that order id one is apple egg and milk i run the for loop again i get the order id two and the items that have order id two is egg and milk i can print those out now once i have these two objects what i can do is i can merge all these individual items into one list and that again for that i'll be running a for loop and i'll be just picking the second item in each of those list because the first item is the order id and the second item is the list so now if i print it out you can see i have now two beautifully set lists where each list has the all the order items in one order okay very interesting now what i need next by using the combinations method and I'm using a combination of only two items. So I can, if I change this statement for item pair in combinations, item list comma three, if I do a, uh, you know, three, then there will be three items per pair. So it will only return me the first line then, apple, egg, and milk. It will not return me the egg and milk section, okay? Because I'm taking three items at a time. Because I'm taking two items, so it will do all the possible combination, apple, egg, egg, milk, and egg milk again and the milk and apple okay so if you see if i print them out i can see all the four pairs and my last task is to count these unique pairs and that is done by the counter uh, method so if i merge all of this and if i put them all them all of them together in a function because now i would be needing a function i want to don't want to do this all this step again and again and step by step so i'm just pushing all those things in function 
the only thing that has changed here is in, in the previous way if you see I have printed the item pair on the fourth line from top if you see I printed it but in this case I'll be just doing a yield which is a module in the iterate it tools function and it will just generate those pairs and they keep them ready for me and by using the counter method I can count these pairs okay and if I print it out you will see egg milk has a count of two apple and egg has count of one and apple and milk count is one and that is the exact thing that we need to do on our actual data set which is a large data volume all right now that we have this first concept in place i would recommend you to please practice this simple step-by-step -step method to practice this concept okay let's try with another example but here there is a challenge which I want to uh, the main reason why we are doing this uh, and we have to identify that issue that is I am taking a second example here the second example is if you see I'm just using the same function again and when I print it out it only gives me speedboat and school bus but if you see the vehicle you know group has three items we have cycle we have speedboat and we have school bus the animal uh, group has one item which is duck and the plant item has one uh, sorry the plant group has one item which is cactus but why did it only print the speedboat and full school bus only now the algorithm is supposed to return the combination of two items right which is it did which is correctly it has done but why did it miss the cycle okay the reason being the data set should be in a sequential order that means all my items which are relevant to a particular group should appear in a sequence and if you see that sequence is broken here which are what I mean by that is my data set should have been like this vehicle cycle the next item should have been vehicle speedboat and the next item should have been vehicle school bus then it should have been animal duck and then it should have been plant cactus if you see here in my data set here orders one 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 for apple egg and milk are in sequence then we have the two two for egg and milk so that is one thing that we have to keep in mind that the order of this sequence is very important otherwise it will only return where that sequence is maintained so it did maintain in the last five records if you see vehicle speedboat and vehicle school bus so they were in sequence and then that is what has been printed out I hope it makes clear right so we have to keep this in our mind okay but if you see internally it has prepared actually all the combination but then it did not return me that okay that is the reason why because the sequence has to be in order now in solving this problem several questions would arise for example which item should we consider for recommendation and if we are not using it for recommendation then based on what criteria are we dropping them how do we decide which item pairs are crucial and which are not and in order to find all these things we are going to use concepts such as support confidence and lift uh, and we'll see how to calculate them we can also push put some thresholds to decide that which items are important and you know how do we are going to decide that this item should be recommended or not now a quick glimpse of the data set that we have so we have a couple of data sets here we have one for the product so basically it gives you the product ID the product name which aisle this was kept and the department ID this is for the product then we have something for the uh, the order ID itself so we have the order ID who which customer has you know placed that order and then we have few other uh, parameters such as what which day of the week the order was made which uh, hour of the day the order was made and so on okay uh, but thankfully we have another data set which has merged all these things together and it will be easy for us to play with that data set and finally we have uh, the output uh, the company wants the output to be like we have a order ID and given that the order item number in this example 39276 has been uh, ordered then what is the probability of ordering the other item so we have to come up with a pair of two products and that is what is required as the output so now that we know what our data set looks like and what is the expected output 
let's catch up in the second video to find out how can we prepare this data set and come up with such recommendation system thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and you'll be notified whenever we push the second uh, episode of this project thanks and have a nice day